Hi, welcome back. This is Eugene Blanchard. And in this video, what we're going to do is talk about working in the cakewalk environment and uh, some of the tools that you can use for EQing. When you open up Cakewalk, it comes up with this area. You have uh, what this is called the Pro Channel over here, and you can hide it with this button, Show Hide Pro Channel. Uh, when you hide it, it, it basically shows you the council. Uh, we have some other tools which are hiding the arranger, composer, tempo. I don't use any of these ones. Basically, I, I do use the Pro Tools. Now, every channel, whether it's an audio, this is an audio channel here, and this is a, a MIDI, they will have the Pro Tools. So if I go to a MIDI channel like the bass here, we'll see we have Pro Tools again, but we also have an option down here called MIDI. So now we can control our, our MIDI inputs on it. And there's some MIDI uh, information down here that you can play with. Uh, basically, what I do is I use here. If we want a bigger screen, what I can do is click on this arrow and it will collapse it. Now once in a while you will run into a problem, I've done this so many times, where I go to type in, the uh, change the name of the track to bass and I forget to click on it. I start hitting, uh, typing the letters B-A-S-S -S, and all of a sudden our display goes crazy. Uh, what you can do is revert it back to a default setting by going to Views, Screen Sets, and Default. Normally what it'll say is Screen Set 0. One. And what I've done is I've renamed the current screen set to default. That's the one I like to work on. Then you can copy that, duplicate the current screen set to another one. I did it to screen set 02, and I renamed working. And then what I did on working is this is my working environment. Uh, what I've done is I've minimized my pro channel. I've also minimized some of the help module and information on this side. Right, so then I can uh, basically have different sets. And when I get into trouble, I can just go back to these uh, presets that, that I've set up on the screen sets. So now I'm not trying to figure out, oh, what, what is the key that I just lost this? Uh, some of the things you can do is you can resize the windows. Right? Whichever way you like. It's very flexible. What you can do is you can take a window, make it floating. If, if I had two video displays, I would separate it up and that I just have one. What we have is a song going here. I can go to my console. What's also neat with the console is if I scroll up, it says Pro Channel. I can click on this one and I can actually have the Pro Channel right on the console so I can set my Pro Channel settings. And this Pro Channel settings is that you have a compressor. Uh, so. I'll go to the base here. What I'm going to do is close this uh, Pro Channel down, go to here. And what you'll see is I played with some EQ here. Uh, the EQ is kind of small, so what I can do is I can click on this button, and now I have a nice big... Hmm, doesn't want to click and drag. Uh, so basically I have a nice big EQ setting I have down here. I can change the values. and that. Let's just see if I can uh, change that going through this module here. Oh, I have to go to audio. Alright, so now let's go here. That's better. Just because I have a sort of a uh, not a full screen window, I was having some problems with getting the EQ. So now I have a, a really nice EQ that I can play with. I can uh, have the, the gain, I can change the gain, plus or minus uh, the dBs on it. I can change the frequency. I can change the Q, which is the width. And I have uh, four controls here, and then I have other tools with it. So, and it also tells you roughly where in the keyboard you're playing with the EQ. One of the problems you might have is that you might have different volume levels on, on bass. Bass is very difficult. And what you can do is you can add compression. So under compression, if you click on here, you can have the next preset. Is uh, they have presets already made up. This is for drums, overhead drums. Uh, this is for bass preset zero two bass preset 01. You can do a full reset, vocals, and that. So it comes up with already uh, configured presets for your instruments that you can add into here. So that's a, a pretty neat tool. Now, uh, one of the things you might want to do is you might want to take a look and see what your EQ is actually doing when you play. So I can take an instrument, let me take, um, well, we're working with bass, so I'm going to add special effects. The effects I'm going to do is the audio effects. 
and it's something called span. Sometimes it's under analyzer span. You might have to install it. Right? And this is what the analyzer looks like. It's free. It comes from Voxengo. I'm not sure how to say that. What you can do is you can download it. And I'm not sure if it comes with Cakewalk or not. It's been so long since I've installed it. And what it does is it pro provides you real-time equalization. So what you can do is you can check the EQ on, on actually the spectrum, the audio spectrum on any instrument and when you play. So that was listening just to the bass. Right, so we can look at e each one of the instruments and see what the spectrum is. We can also add span as an effect on our master out. So all I did is I clicked on here and then I insert audio. I went to analyzer. Under analyzer there's span. What it also shows you is, is the latest audio effects that you put in. So this was span. And I can look at the complete track now. So this is the, tr the track showing the audio spectrum of the whole track. So that's a very handy tool to use. So, so this gives you an idea of how to kind of work your way around the cakewalk environment a little bit and also do a little bit of EQing. Thank you.